Final Fantasy VII Remake has been out for over a little over two weeks now, and the ending left us all with various questions. I personally want to know the mindset behind the creative decision and direction with the ending, and what we could possibly know from what is coming next. Well, the Final Fantasy VII Remake Ultimania was released recently in Japan, and we got a whole bunch of juicy details from the Ultimania on what I was exactly looking for. My man Namor, Yoshinori, Kitase, has been laying down the truth in this Ultimania. Shout out to Audrey, aka Twitter Yuzi, Adikari Mochi, if I said that right, I apologize, for doing the translations from the Ultimania onto Twitter. That being said, please go give her a follow because without her, I wouldn't be able to make this video right now until the actual Ultimania will come out in the United States or in English fashion. That being said, let's talk about the remake and changes. Many fans were worried about the ending of the Final Fantasy VII Remake, that Square Enix were going to destroy the concept of a remake and create a whole new and different kind of Final Fantasy VII. The ending had many loving it, many hating it, and many confused, and many in theory mode. However, Yoshinori Kitase has something very important to say about the Final Fantasy VII Remake's future and the story. Quote by Kitase on how different the Final Fantasy VII Remake will be from the original story. He thus says, we're not drastically changing the story and making it into something completely different than the original, even though it's a remake. Please assume the story of Final Fantasy VII will continue as Final Fantasy VII always has. So my theory on what I was speculating in my last video is seeming to be more correct with what I believe will be happening going forward. Pretty much what I've been saying is that the compilation is most likely going to end up somewhat irrelevant, will be rewritten into the Final Fantasy VII Remake. It will not be an exact one-to-one -one with the canon of the OG or the compilation, but a new canon, combining everything all together into one to make the most coherent story in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm adding air quotes as I say that last bit. Basically for newcomers, expect ideas and story pieces Concepts from things of like before Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7, Dirge of Sybaris, Crisis Core, Final Fantasy 7, Avid Children, and more to all be a part of Final Fantasy 7 Remake in some way, shape, or form. I said this in my discussion about the ending, and that's what I believe that they're gonna have the same set places and pieces from Final Fantasy 7, the original game, but they're gonna be adding more within Final Fantasy 7 Remake from the whole compilation together and rewriting it all to be some cool, unique thing. So I don't know, expect a whole portion of the game to probably be playable as Zack. Expect a whole portion of the game you'll probably be able to play as Vincent, who knows? But right now, it is kind of weird and uncertain about the future of the remake. I was very optimistic about the future of the remake and I'm still kind of am. I just pray one or two things they either make better Whatever they do with or if they are planning on using any Dirge of Sybaris like content, whatever they do in 2020 will automatically be better than what they did back then with that game. That is one of my least favorite Final Fantasy games. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like that game at all. And if only reason to play it is just to see. Ain't no reason to play it. Just go look at Vince on YouTube and just laugh. I also forgot the anime version where it was pretty much Zack and a lot of other stuff. Then I like that pretty much either. So hopefully they can do something and probably tie it all together. Who freaking knows? That's just my take off the top of my head. The last thing I want to talk about today is a quote from the Ultimania, but it was only translated on the internet so far via IGN. Namora states, we have a rough idea on that, but it's not been completely decided yet. Speaking on the idea of Final Fantasy VII Remake and how many parts the game will be. He also says it's impossible to talk about this right now since that many people think it will become a trilogy. It all depends on how many parts they make or we make, said Nomura. If we separate it into bigger chunks, it will take more time, but if we take smaller portions, it can be done on a shorter span personally. I would like to deliver it fast. Alright, so here's my take. I think Final Fantasy VII Remake will now range from 15 to 30 hours instead of pushing the normal 28 to 40 hours that it took many people or the average time to complete Final Fantasy VII Remake's part one. However, I don't even think it's just him even talking about Lim, just if people ask about that in the comments down below. The more honest to God truth, I don't even think he's saying is if it's smaller than part one's content or coverage, just smaller in comparison to covering a much larger amount of the original game than part one did. So a good example of this is if you know the ending of Final Fantasy VII in the OG, the Shinra building has a lot of hefty content in it 
compared to where some parts of the OG Final Fantasy VII, such as the Calm Village and Flashback and the Chocobo Ranch, are way smaller. I think this game can now be more than three parts, maybe four entirely, if Namor wants to focus on developing smaller parts, but it will still keep the same amount of content, hopefully with Final Fantasy VII Remake's Part 1's quality. I think Final Fantasy VII Remake Game 2 will start with Calm Events and potentially end off with either the Temple of the Ancients or the Forgotten Capital. It based off the Ultimate and the more wants the content to be shorter and more compact, but I feel like with OG7 Remake, they will want to balance it both with cutscenes and gameplay. I'm all down for whatever Namor wants to do since I generally love everything about Final Fantasy 7 Remake, but I feel like if not executed properly, there could be some weird padding issues or things could just be way too short, or not really a good in-between. Who knows? However, I have this belief, or I'm gonna just be Galaxy Brain right now, that I think Square Enix is going to deliver on Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2 way more than Part 1 in a lot of aspects and areas. I think it's gonna be people's favorites part, who knows, time will tell. That being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, follow me on Twitter for all updates on just rambling about anime, video games, and sometimes Final Fantasy tweets here and there. So yeah, it's your boy Avatar Yaya. Follow me on Twitter again at Avatar Yaya TV. Join my Discord in the description I know down below so you guys know when I upload more content. And remember, you guys are golden and that is raw. Squala!